Ted had never admitted to Carol anything but that he was innocent. But just before, it looked like there were no more stay of executions. He had run it out. He called her and asked if he should um, tell him where the bodies are buried. They call it bones for time. And that was his way of telling her that there were bodies that he knew about and that he had actually killed all those people. That call was just devastating for her. <laughs> can I stop it? No. no. We, we can't go back. Go. This is the only way we can go ride. back down the hill, too. How are we feeling? <laughs> A little nervous. I chose zip lining just because my mom has never done it before. And it's awesome to be able, okay, this is what we're doing, mom, ripping through the mountains 80 kilometers an hour. And it's, you know, it's a good way to start the week and it's the first of many firsts. So I'm excited. It's, it's really cool. This is just the worst. Sailing down that line going 80 kilometers an hour. I'm scared. <sighs> ah. Get her harness before she runs, let's go. People are attracted to body hacking because it does represent something completely new in terms of how we can change our body and alter the functions that our bodies go through, G giving the body a greater capacity to achieve different things. The grinder mentality is that if they can mess with how they perceive the world, they might perceive the world in different ways. In some ways, they're, they're forcing us to really think about, uh, in concrete terms, how humans and technology might merge and what that might look like. It's, it's almost a form of art. Yeah, I think that's exactly the way to look at it. A lack of funding to repair and maintain the buildings had led to a significant deterioration. Oh, again. That combined with what you might call a, a concentration of poverty led to increasing crime rates. We don't know how the drugs are coming into the park, but wherever there's drugs, there's going to be guns. It was scary, real scary. I was eating the news. Somebody shot somebody right there. It's like they don't see nothing around them. Bam, bam, bam. I want you to see this, ready? What? What? <laughs> what the heck? I got my eye on it now. Yeah, you watch. Two coins? Watch. Troy? Shoot, I don't know now. You got me <laughs> confused, man. I don't know how that money got out of my hand. And I'm a money man. <laughs> and I done seen something different today. Brand new, out of sight, different. They're heading off to the darkness, so um, fingers crossed that they have a, a good night stage and, um, and um, this is gonna be a really tough stage for them. Once it gets night, the body kind of starts shutting down. So you think you're going to sleep. So it's far more difficult to take on solid food. It's far more difficult to remember to drink. You get tired, you get a little bit disorientated. You start to see things. Um, trees become people. You start to not know where you are. So it's really important for the pacers to look at them when they're getting tired and just guide the guys forward. I was like, man, I just hope this cow breaks free because I know what was in store for him. And I think the cow knew what was going on, and it was going absolutely crazy. 